Today I'm going to make some multi-grain bread in my quick cooker. Okay, I'm going to start with my oats, my salt, and my bread flour. And the bread flour just gives it a little bit more um, robust. Uh, I love these measuring cups. I then am um, double checking on the temperature of my water. Most of the time I use my thermometer for meat, but today I'm using it for the water. So I have a cup and a half of water. And I'm going to go ahead and start to blend that. And I'm gonna add some butter, some softened butter. Oh, and the yeast. My dough is ready and I have taken the ceramic container. This is the baker that I use for potatoes and make rice in my quick cooker. I've gone ahead and oiled it. I'm gonna go ahead now and put my dough in the ceramic baker and it's gonna be lifted and put into the slow cooker or quick cooker. The ceramic pot is in its wire cradle. I'm now going to you can hear it start. I'm going to go and put it on proof, which is something that many Instant Pots don't have. Put it on proof. And start it, and it's going to do most of the work for me. The um, bread's been in here proofing for about 10 minutes. You can't tell, but it says 20 minutes left. And when I'm reading the recipe, and this will happen to all of us, and it says add the remaining honey, and you realize you haven't added any honey, then you figure out what are you going to do. So when the bread comes out of this proof, I don't know that this is going to work, but I'm going to try to incorporate the honey, and then we'll, we'll move forward. But, oh, sometimes you don't get to read the whole recipe, and that happens, and you just figure out what you're going to do. So it may not be as uh, sweet as we would like this honey multi-grain bread to be. The recipe calls to take the dough out and to um, wash out the ceramic pot and then put it back in and then to brush. I, as I said before, I, uh, I went ahead and I incorporated the honey and now oh, my honey Stay tuned. My honey's been sitting too long. Stay tuned. Okay, now I'm going to brush my honey on the top. And after I brush that, then I'm going to put some oats on top and I'll take a picture for you. So I've brushed the honey. I've put on the extra oats on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and seal it again. And what's really nice about this is, while this is proofing, I'm doing other things. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to, um, let's see, I need to make sure I've canceled it. And I'm gonna proof it again, and I push start, and it really speeds up the entire process of having, your, um, having it rise. So that's what we're gonna do next. I've carefully removed the ceramic pot from the wire and I'm putting it in a 350 degree, oh goodness, oven. And I'm gonna, I don't know if you can tell, but my bread is too tall, so I'm gonna take out that and it's gonna cook for 40 minutes. There it is. I've removed the bread um, after 40 minutes in 350 degrees to my cooling rack and it needs to cool for 10 minutes and then I'll pop it out of the ceramic pot. 10 minutes is up and the bread is now out of the ceramic pot. You can see there's a little bit of residue but it's going to be really quick to clean it up. And I have fresh multi-grain bread made in the quick cooker. Enjoy your day.